G'day One More Fly Squad, welcome back to another video. Today I'm at Melbourne Airport, I'm gonna fly Bonds Airlines, uh, a new airline in Australia, my first time flying them, uh, from here to Mackay in Queensland. So one interesting thing about Bonds are, they're a bit like Ryanair in Australia, they fly to places where people don't normally go and they cover routes that traditional airlines like Qantas and Virgin don't cover. So it's gonna be an interesting flight and interesting destination. Now, without further ado, let's head inside and check in. Like the other Australian low-cost carrier, check-in is at Melbourne Airport Terminal 4 and everything from checking in to backdrop is self-served. But the friendly staff are more than happy to help should you have any issues. You'll find security and the air side upstairs. You may take the lift, walk on the stairs or take the escalators. So we just cleared security, uh, it was quick and easy at T4, you don't have to take out your laptops or liquid. So we're now in the food court area. It's a bit like Heathrow Terminal 3 where after security it's food court and shopping and then gates have to walk a bit. So you know Bonza is new and young and fresh, probably more virgin than Virgin Australia so it's going to be a fun That's flight. Fun. And also they're the only 737 MAX operator in Australia so you're guaranteed a fresh aircraft uh, because they only fly that aircraft as well. Since Bonds Airlines first ever flight back in March 2023, they've launched a few more flights from Melbourne Airport. So today they're launching Mackay. They've also got non-stop services to Gladstone, Mildura, Port Macquarie, Rockhampton, Sunshine Coast, Tamworth and Toowoomba. From Melbourne Avalon slash Geelong Airport they fly to Sunshine Coast. Now let's board this inaugural flight from Melbourne to La Marine to Mackay. It's the first flight to connect both cities. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Thank you. Today, I'm an invited guest on this flight to Mackay, along with Aiden from iFly Aviation and Hugo from Aviation 763. Do check out their channels as well. I'll have their YouTube links in the description down below. It's time for a cute little group photo before we get on board. Now, here's some quick information about our aircraft. It's a three-year-old Bonds Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. Registration, Victor Hotel, Uniform Kilo Hotel. I believe it's meant to be a lot Polish aircraft, but they never took the delivery due to COVID, and now it's with Bonza. Welcome on board this all economy aircraft. My seat today, 7C, an aisle seat. I'll move to a window after takeoff. And now the seat features, literature pocket, USB port, and here you've got a QR code to order food, a tray table, you can move it back and forth but you can't fold it in half. Down here it's an edit seat pocket for your personal items. Legroom is really generous for a low cost carrier. It's on par with Qantas and Virgin. Universal power socket. Finally, an adjustable headrest. It's really soft and comfy. My name is Polly, it's my pleasure to be a cabin supervisor. Please place your larger bags into your overhead lockers and the smaller bags underneath the seats in front of you. If you are seated in an exit row, or you... Up to Mackay. We'll be underway very shortly. Today's flight will be taking off uh, towards the north and uh, pretty much straight line getting up uh, north to Mackay. It's been a nice ride and up in Mackay at the moment it's a nice uh, day out there as well. I'll get back to you later in the flight with an arrival time and the latest weather. Meantime, so very relaxed and enjoy the pilot. Thank you very much. Over your head. Pass the strap around your waist and clip securely in the front. In my channel, you'll find Qantas 787 Economy, Premium Economy, and Business Class to report. And also, I'll be uploading China Airlines from Melbourne to Taipei soon. So do stay tuned and subscribe for those true reports. I'll attach the Qantas 787 true reports in the description. Here's Bonds of Light, AB. 1060 arriving from Tamworth. The Max 8 is a really quiet aircraft compared to 737NG. I can even tell the difference when I'm editing this video. If it's a 737NG flight, I'll have to lower the background volume when I voice over. Anyways, let's check out the in flight menu. You can access it by scanning the QR code in front of you or through the Bonza app. 
Bonza advertises their menu as an all-Australian menu. On your phone you can order a variety of drinks including coffee, tea, soft drinks, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beers. There's also food of course including sandwiches, biscuits, snacks, which is an Australian word for hot dogs I believe. Now you must order your food through your mobile phone. You can also pay within it or by using a physical card with a cabin crew, you can't pay with cash. So essentially there's no trolley service. When someone places an order, they'll just come to you with your order. For entertainment, you can play games and read a book through the app. So after takeoff, Aiden from iFly Aviation found me seat 18A which is not occupied. We're flying north towards Queensland and it's currently evening. So from 18A, you're looking at the sunset. Throughout the flight, the cabin crew are really busy. A lot of passengers are taking advantage of dine on demand through the app and placing orders throughout the flight basically. Now it's my turn to order food. So I just paid $21.60 for this meal deal. So I've got a vegan sandwich, some beans, a chocolate muffin, and for drinks, it's a non-alcoholic beer. So overall, not a very bad deal on board. The vegan sandwich is really delicious. And again, the crew were really busy. I waited about five to eight minutes for them to serve me. Now little Aiden is getting hungry and he's gonna order his own food as well. And he opted to pay with his physical card. So Aiden got a chocolate sandwich, beans, Anzac biscuit, chicken wraps, and Australian cola. Our flight today isn't entirely full. I would say about 70%. I suppose this service from Telemarine to Mackay cater for more of those from Mackay. So this inaugural wouldn't be that full, whereas the return flight will be fuller. So far, I'm really enjoying this flight to Mackay. I'm most impressed by the seat on board. The recline is generous, as shown by Aiden. Leg room is pretty good. And for a low cost carrier, I'm really, really impressed that it's got free charging ports. Welcome on board, Bonza 737 MAX Economy Lavatory. Um, so they've got three on board, one behind the cockpit and two at the back. Quite spacious here. Uh, it's actually bigger than the ones on board the uh, 73 CEO. The sink's bigger. There's no mood lighting, but it's just bigger, you know. The CEO ones are ridiculously tiny. And everything looks sleek and clean. And we've got a book. If you are enjoying this video so far, please leave like, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe please if you haven't done so. Each and every of your action is most appreciated and it's going to help the growth of my channel. So please give us a big thumbs up and wave your flags as we take this photo to mark this special occasion and we do really appreciate your support and thank you for spe celebrating this special occasion with us. Thank you. It's a nice evening, clear skies, temperature of 23 degrees Celsius and just a light uh, southeasterly wind blow. At this stage we'll have you outside the terminal at uh, just on just before 7 o'clock, yeah, so 6 o'clock to 7. On behalf of the whole crew and Bonza, I'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us this evening. I do hope you enjoyed the ride and uh, hopefully you're pleased to be a part of something new. I'm sure some of you may be coming back to Melbourne with us, otherwise have the rest of your evening in Mackay's. Thank you. So we've started our descent into Mackay, Queensland, so I'll quickly conclude this trip port with Bonza right here, right now. Our journey today started at Melbourne Terminal 4. Check-in was quite easy, self-served, and if you need help, staff are happy to help. Once on board, a very friendly welcome from our cabin crew. A big shout out to those legends, they literally come up and down the aisle throughout the flight to serve passengers ordering food and drinks on board. And I also wanted to say the passenger announcements were really clear. On this flight, the bar wasn't fully stocked, so there was limited food and drinks offering. And that's a little bit funny because this was the first flight for this aircraft today. As for the seat, it's a really comfortable product for a short haul flight. It's slim design, but it's got everything else you need, including USB ports, charging outlet, seat pocket, headrest, and recline. Many of the things that I just mentioned, you don't get them on many other low-cost carriers. Now finally, just a little bit of information. 
Bonza fly twice weekly between Melbourne and Mackay every Tuesday and Saturday. For this three hour sector, your airfare starts from $89. You get 8kg of free carry on allowance. For check in baggage on this flight, your lightest option is 15kg for $23. So Bonza flies are really, really cheap and they cover routes that others don't cover. For example, Melbourne to Mackay traditionally you would have to go through Brisbane and that becomes really expensive on Qantas and Virgin. So it'll be interesting to see how Bonza further expands, like if they're going to cover the other states in Australia and even buy more new planes. So that's it for the conclusion. Thanks for watching. Please enjoy the landing into Mackay. A Mackay vlog will follow after. Acknowledge the traditional owners of this land and pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. For your safety and the safety of those around you, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. If your mobile phones are within reach, you are welcome to use these now. If you are leaving us by the tarmac, we ask that all electronic devices are not used until you have entered the terminal building. Before leaving, please check your seat seat pocket for all your personal belongings and be really careful when opening the overhead lockers as your eye chips may have moved during our flight. When you leave the aircraft, please follow the directions of our ground crew and a reminder that smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes are not permitted on the tarmac or inside the terminal building. On behalf of our legends on board today, we'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with Bonza and we do look forward to seeing you on board again soon. If Mackay is home, welcome home. If you're visiting loved ones, enjoy some special moments together. And if you're here for business, don't work too hard. And if you are traveling back with us to Melbourne, we do give you a friendly reminder to recheck in for your flight. Thank you and have a great evening. Saw the purple light as well. It's all right. Purple light. So we're now just entering the air side of Mackay Airport. The aircraft is going to return back to Melbourne tonight and there's an event happening at the Mackay Airport lawn with free drinks Thank and you. food. Let's check it out. <laughs> Legends to the Mackay Airport personnel, Gary Potter, the CEO, is here tonight. Carly Povey from, uh, from his, his, his right here, righto. Bon, the Monza commercial manager is here with us tonight. But most importantly, we've got 150 odd members of the Melbourne community celebrating this first flight into Mackay. You know, we are very, very proud of the fact that Monza has chosen Mackay to be direct services, not only to Melbourne, but to Cairns and the Sunshine Coast. And so this first service for us tonight is absolutely outstanding. To all the people who are supporting it, good on you, your Monza legends. Thank you, and I hope there's many more to come. Welcome to Mackay, I'm here for two nights, three days, and then we're going to go to sunny coast with Bonza again. Do stay tuned for that true report, and please subscribe so you don't miss out. So for the two nights in Mackay, I'm staying at Dolphin Heads Resort. It's about a half an hour drive from Mackay Airport. So rental car is really expensive, it's about $370 for two nights, so we decided to not rent a car. And that's our biggest regret, because the buses here aren't frequent at all, about an hour per service, and there just aren't enough Uber and taxi drivers in Mackay. I looked up on Google, apparently there's a labour shortage. We walked about an hour and a half to Burrito Bar for lunch. And then we went into Woolies to get some snacks and water. Thankfully there's a bus coming soon, we're going to take the bus to Bacacia for the beach. The bus services here are operated by Translink, the same operator in Brisbane. 
Cairns and Gold Coast, but they don't take go cards here, nor any credit cards, so we had to pay cash. It's $6 for the both of us, but I've only got $5 and $50 notes. The driver just took my $5. So about 20 minutes after, we made it to Bacasia. Earlier today was actually sunny and warm, but now it's cloudy and windy, so I decided not to jump into the water. So he just took another bus and I gave the driver the $50 note. He just went, I'll shout. He was so friendly and helpful, like the many local people in Makai. I'm just having dinner back in the resort and there's a possum. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your viewership. Do subscribe so you don't miss out on another trip report which comes out every Thursday. You can also follow me and keep in touch with me via my socials. And a big shout out to my Patreon members. You can join the squad through the link in the description. Thanks again and bye now.